Oh, this is not going to be easy. Holy cow. So that means we're going to have to pull into here and then back it around that way. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> There's cars in the way and everything. Wow, that's going to be hard, man. Oh, boy. All right. Dang. Dang, bro. Welcome, everybody, to American Truck Simulator. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are going to give this game a try. Uh, I have played it, I don't know, three hours maybe off camera just to kind of get a feel for it, make sure all my controls and that sort of thing's working, though I do have some more things I need to map uh, to the controls. Um, so, yeah, we're going to give this a try. I'm not sure, you know, how, how well I'm going to like this game for the long term. It does intrigue me, and I have watched a, a few people on YouTube play it. Uh, one of the things that I find really cool about it is, you know, you're driving in territory that's that's actually fairly similar to, you know, to the real life counterparts. Um, I thought that's kind of cool, and, you know, uh, and I, I've been getting in more into simulation games lately anyway, so I wanted to give this one a try. Plus, I got it on sale on Steam, so, you know, all those <laughs> those are all reasons why I decided to try this out. Uh, so, you know, like I said, I, I don't know if we'll stick with it for the long term. It depends upon how much I like it. It depends upon how much you guys like it, and you know, and if you want me to keep doing that sort of thing too. So we'll just see how things go. But so we're kind of giving it, giving it a try. This is really just more of a, a trial basis for you know the first few episodes, and then we'll decide whether or not we want to keep doing it. All right, enough said about that. Let's go ahead and get started with a new profile here. Uh, I deleted my previous practice profile, so this is the real one now. Um, so we want to start with the picture. I have looked through these pictures, and this guy right here is closest to what i look like i mean he doesn't really look anything like me except for he's got a white beard uh so yeah we'll go with that uh preferred truck design now i have a, in the past um actually driven a a, a semi before uh, uh, a, my dad owned a white freight liner in the 80s i think it was a white freight liner it was either a white freight liner because those two companies used to be the same or maybe it was just a freight liner i don't know he can probably tell me in the comments what it was uh, so I actually have driven that truck a little bit, but I didn't drive it a lot. So I can't, you know, I can't really say that I'm, um, you know, a truck driver for, by any stretch of the imagination. I'm pretty, you know, pretty newbish so at all this stuff, but, uh, we'll choose Freightliner because of that reason only. I have really no other reason to, to choose any particular truck over the other, except for that reason. So we'll choose the Freightliner truck uh, for that. And what this does is it basically gives it, that's the truck that we start the tutorial in. And I believe it's also the first dealer that we'll get is Freightliner. But honestly, I mean, I, it's not that big of a deal to me one way or the other at this point. Uh, Peterbilt, Kenworth, Freightliner, Mac, whatever. Uh, we'll just go with that. Okay, company logo. I like this one that has the, the wing and the wheel, so we'll choose that. Uh, for the name of our company, this is going to be OG Transportation. Let me. I, my keyboard's kind of off to the left, so i got to lean over and type that in. All right, cool. Um, so that takes care of that. So let's click create. Uh, now, uh, I am using a Thrustmaster T248 wheel, um, which comes with pedals that ha that includes a clutch. And I'm also using my um, Satec, or I guess it's Logitech now, a heavy equipment side panel that I use for farming simulator. Um, now, I, I messed around with trying to get H shifting to work with this uh, side panel and I technically was able to get it to work but I couldn't get it to work really well it was just kind of weird so uh, we're going to go with sequential shifting for now because that does work fine with this side panel and you know if I if I get into this game if I really like it and want to, to get serious about it I may invest in an actual shifter I know Logitech has an 8 shifter and so and so does Thrustmaster and then there's also those um uh, you know those truck shifter uh, add-ons that you can put on it you know that gives you the extra switches for like the high and low ranges and that sort of thing so but i don't want to invest in that stuff until i know for sure i'm really going to like this game and you know play it for the long term uh since we're still on a trial okay so anyway n uh, we're just going to stick with sequential shifting because that works the best with the equipment that i currently have now uh looks like the steering wheel is working there uh we need to uh, set the accelerator here okay and it's inverted uh this is the brake that's working I'm gonna enable the clutch even though I don't you don't really use the clutch with sequential shifting, but I want to kind of get in 
uh, in the habit of using it. So because when we do go to the H shifter, then, you know, we will need to use the clutch. So, all right, let's click next. Um, now we'll just go up on the stick for shift up and down on the stick for shift down. That takes care of that. And that closes out the wizard. Uh, so yeah, sequential shifting is, you know, it's pretty basic. Uh, you just keep pushing up to go up and pull back to go down. But at least what it'll do is it'll get me, you know, thinking about the gears and paying attention to the RPMs on the track and that sort of thing, uh, as opposed to just going automatic and letting the game handle it. Uh, so that way we're, we're kind of sort of preparing ourselves, you know, for actual shifting later on if we get that equipment. Okay, select the city you want to start in. Uh, I'm just going to choose Vegas because it's in a central location. Now, if you don't know this, there are DLCs that you can get that expand the map. So, um, so basically, in fact, there's... It, I believe with the DLCs and with the mods that there are available for this game, you're going to open up the whole United States and even Canada. Uh, but here again, I want to try the game out first, just the base game to see how much I like it before I invest time and money and whatever in that extra stuff. But if, you know, if we, if we like this game, you know, if I love it and I start playing it and you guys like it, you know, then I'll, uh, I'll beef it up. I'll add some mods. I'll add some DLC. I'll get maybe get some better controllers and that sort of thing to, to really start enjoying it. But we'll just start the base game for now. So, yeah, we'll start in Vegas because that's in a relatively central place. I've actually been to Vegas several times in my life. And I'm, I, I mean, I'm, I, I'm somewhat familiar with the area. So not super familiar, but somewhat familiar enough to, to say, yeah, that looks familiar. I've been there. <laughs> uh, all right. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, welcome to American Truck Simulator. This, by the way, is the Luxor Hotel, the Pyramid. That's that's where my wife and I stayed the last time we were there, which was last fall in 2021. Uh, at last, you have the chance to experience your dream job driving a truck. Okay, your own transportation company is now open for business, but sadly, you lack the money to buy a truck. For now, you'll have to work for other companies as a driver for hire. Your task is to safely deliver a load of car parts to Vol Voltason Dock on... In Las Vegas, your employer has provided you with a vehicle and will cover all expenses. Don't let anyone down arrive on time. Okay. Very good. So, yeah, this this first part's just kind of like a little tutorial. We'll go through it real quick uh, for those of you who haven't seen it before, and then we'll uh, do our first job. So that's the plan for this episode. All right. So uh, start the engine. I've got some buttons mapped to my, my side panel, but I'm still in the process of mapping buttons. Um, so, you know, kind of bear with me as we figure all that stuff out. Uh, all right, now what we're going to do is we're going to shift into first gear and we're going to move forward a little bit and then we're going to stop to satisfy the tutorial. All right, um, now we have uh, switched to chasing camera and look around the truck. So now there's different views that you can use with the cameras as the tutorial is showing us. And so let's, uh, so this is basically the roof camera. We're looking on the roof of the truck, bumper camera. Uh, no, six is bumper camera. That's lean out camera. Wheel camera, drive by camera. So this will actually kind of show a, a, a drive by scene if we were actually moving. And then nine just kind of cycles through the different views. Okay. So one is the, the main view. Okay. So press enter there. Time to make a delivery. Use the router visor to see where you are and where you need to go. Press F1 or pause to look closer. Okay. So before we continue with the tutorial, I want to talk about uh, the rules of the series, or uh, I, I guess the main rule. Here's the thing. This game is, just, uh, is a simulator, simulating truck driving. So my rule for myself is that whenever the truck is moving, we have to be in this view. We have to be in the cockpit view, the first person view, whatever you want to call it, and as if we're actually driving the truck. If we're stopped, I can get, I, I can check out these different views to check out my surroundings. And it's, you know, it's basically simulating me getting out of the truck and just looking to see what's around me, that sort of thing. Um, so we're allowed to, to do that when we're outside uh, or, or when we're not moving. But if we're moving the truck, we have to stay in this view the whole time and we have to use our mirrors, uh, you know, as if it was a real situation. Okay. So that's, that's the rule that I'm putting on myself to, to add some realism to the game. Okay. All right, now, route advisor. If we press F1, it brings up the route advisor. That's this little thingy here. It's kind of like um, it's like a GPS, but it also does a bunch of other stuff, too. Um, and so we bring that up by pressing F1. Now, F2 will toggle side mirrors. Now, we have um, we have on-screen side mirrors, um, but I'm not, you know, I'm going to use the actual mirrors on the truck. I'm, I'm not, probably not going to use those side, the on-screen side mirrors. Or if I do, uh, 
I would use this one, but I, I won't use the one on the left because, you know, we already have the, the mirror uh, right there in front of us. So we're going to try and do things without them. I may allow myself to use this one if I, you know, if I really am struggling, but we're going to try and just, you know, do this as, as realistically as possible. Okay, so anyway, F1 brings up the um, the mission thingamadoodle, whatever it's called, route advisor. And basically this is, you know, it's our GPS, but it tells us information about our mission that we have to do, or our job, um, roadside assistance, damage on the truck, messages, that sort of thing. So that's pretty much what this is telling us. Um, so this is our miles per hour. This is the gear we're in. This is the condition of the truck. This is our fuel. This is our sleep meter. Uh, there is, you know, there is fatigue in the game, and we are going to be playing with all those realistic settings. This is email. This is the time of the day in the game. Uh, this is the distance and time to our destination, how much we're going to get paid. Um, and then this um, F6 or this button shows the information about our mission that we have to do. This shows the condition of the truck and allows us to call roadside service if we break down somewhere. Uh, these are little short messages that I think the game gives you. And this is chat if you're playing in multiplayer. Okay, so that's what that's all about and what it's trying to tell us there. Um, okay, so let's just get through all of that. Continue. Close tutorial. All right. And so we are now ready to go. Um, so let's press F1 to get out of there. And F5 to get back to our little GPS thing. All right. It's ready for us to, to get going here. Um, the other thing I need to do, though, is... Uh, okay. I was trying... Let me see something here. I was trying out... Um, the the head tracking software that works off your webcam kind of thing and it wasn't working very well uh, it it worked but it didn't work well and so we're not going to use that but apparently the game still thinks i'm trying to use that so i need to how do i get how do i disable that let's look in here enable head tracking Um, press the key you want to assign to this function. What about F9? Okay. So if we press F9, there we go. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, head tracking. That's another thing that. If I, I get into the game and I really like it and, and start playing it, you know, on a regular basis, I may invest in some real head tracking uh, equipment. But for now, again, I just don't want to do that until, until we know for sure. Okay. All right. Let's head on out of here. So we have, uh, we also have in some trucks, the, in this in this truck and in some other trucks, we also have um, on the dash, we have a, uh, a GPS and we can, I can kind of cycle through the the different um, zoom levels on that and then th this button here cycles my my actual uh, dash information there oil level okay is, does cruise control show up on this let's see yeah, I don't know all right well I'll figure that out We'll just, I guess we'll just leave it, it there for now. Different trucks have different layouts, of course, as, as we'll see, you know, as we go along here. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and see. It wants us to go, let's look at the map for a second. So we can zoom in here, and I think we're actually going the wrong direction. We need to go out that way. Well, we might be able to get around there. I don't think so. Okay, let's um, let's pop it in reverse here. At least we have a short trailer on here. All right, now are we supposed to go this way? Yeah, I think we're supposed to go out this way. So yeah, the sequential shifting, it, you know, it's it's very simple. It's just up for, you know, higher gears and down for lower gears. But again, like I said, it, it'll at least get me paying attention, you know, to the RPMs of the truck and getting used to 
doing the shifting myself as opposed to just letting an automatic transmission handle it. So when the time comes for us to get the actual H shifter, we will, oh, Volvo truck dealer discovered, nice. Uh, we will be able to, um, you know, ease into that a little bit, a, a little bit better. Uh, all right, so I think it wants us to turn left here. No one's coming that way. What gear are we? We're in third gear? Okay. Yeah, we, we can probably start, actually start in third gear. I think, too, for the most part, um, I'm probably going to skip a gear when we're shifting, unless we're, you know, going up a hill or have a really heavy load or something. It seems to work. The game does have uh, what's called a... Uh, advanced or smart sequential shift or something where it kind of figures out the best gear but again I, I want to be thinking about that myself I don't want to rely upon an automatic process because that's how I'm gonna learn right okay so let's head on up here looks like we're gonna turn right up here um, is that car gonna let me over okay let's let this car get over here first Wow, this thing, like, stops on a dime. <laughs> okay. We want to be really careful to obey traffic rules. You know, don't run red lights, don't speed, don't cause collisions, that sort of thing, because all of that will be deducted, you know, both from your pay, but also I believe it affects your XP, too. Uh, and, you know, we want to level up because the higher we level up, the more money we'll make. I mean, that's what it really boils down to. But when you level up, you can take like longer missions or haul more expensive cargo, stuff like that. So leveling's important and something we want to do as soon as possible. Okay, let's start out in third here. And we'll watch our passenger side mirror, make sure we're not clipping anything. Okay, let's go. So we're going to go up the street a ways here. Get over. Oh, watch the speed. Watch the speed there, dude. Yeah, I'm I'm very new. It's gonna take me a little while to get used to this. <laughs> oh man. I don't know if I should get over or if I yeah, let's just stay in the middle lane for now. Okay, back down to third gear here. Why don't we zoom that map out a little bit so we can kind of see what's going on. Okay, yeah, we are going to turn right up here. So let's get in front of this other truck. And we'll get over. Omega. There was actually uh, some pretty bad flooding in Vegas very recently. on the news. Looks like that's Caesar's Palace over there. Yep, I've been here many times. Several times. Look at all the people walking around. That's cool. Las Vegas Fire and Rescue. Visit Ballsy today. Okay. I don't think we'll be visiting Ballsy today. Speed limit's 35, so we'll... Let's go up one more gear, and we should be good in 8th gear, I think. Going a little too fast. We're going to turn up here. Come to a full stop. I guess we can turn on red. Can we turn on red? 
Oh! What? I came to a full stop! Can you not turn on red in Nevada? Alright, well, that's not good. <laughs> Our first traffic violation already. I call hacks, man. I'm pretty sure you can turn right on red in Nevada. What the heck, man? Okay, we're almost to our destination here. Turn on the left here. Let's wait for the light. This is fun. My wheel does, of course, have uh, force feedback, so I can feel a lot of this stuff that's happening here. Let's go ahead and pull in here. And we hit the little green thing. Now what we, we whenever we deliver cargo, we have the option of backing it in, pulling it in forward, or just stopping right here and saying, take it, you guys take it from here. Uh, and as you can see, if we take the harder ones, we get um uh we get more XP. So I'm basically gonna always take the back end ones. Um, and that way, you know, we'll get more XP and it'll make me a better truck driver as time goes on. Okay, so that is the plan there. Let's pull on in here. Um, oh, I think we were supposed to go the other way. Okay. <laughs> Crap. Um, we're not going to, oh, wait, actually, can we go through there? Maybe we can go through this little thingy here. Is that going to lift up? Uh... Nope! Okay, well... Alright, we're going to have to... Let's get in reverse here. Yeah, we were supposed to go the other way, obviously. I hit the curb on that side. Oh, come on, get around. Oh, this isn't good. Um, okay, my wheels like really fight me and I I thought I was turned as sharp as I could be, but I wasn't. Oh man, those things like really fight me. <laughs> okay, let's turn this way. Yeah, all right. Okay, let's back up here. I'm gonna jackknife that thing. Thank goodness we have a short trailer, man, or we would have had quite the challenge there, huh? All right, we're good. Now, let's look at the thing. Okay, I guess we go through here. Okay, I'm going to stop here for just a moment, and let's do our external look around. There we go. Okay. That shouldn't be too hard, actually. That should be a pretty easy backup job, in fact. I've had I've had more challenging ones just, you know, from the little bit that I've played off camera. Okay, let's get her in reverse. This mirror, make sure we're not running anybody over. And boom, nice. Okay, we got it. 
Unfortunately, it doesn't let you get out and disconnect the trailer yourself. I wish it did because that'd be more realistic. Okay, cool. We got an excellent rating on the tutorial job. Um, and we made $418. And we're about a third of the way to level one. Very good. That wasn't so bad. Could have been worse, man. Could have been worse. Thank goodness we had that short trailer. I would have really messed myself up when we first pulled in. Okay, this is your headquarters. It's pretty basic garage. May not be much, but it's a start. Unfortunately, you haven't got anything to park there yet, so there are no trucks in sight. Once you've earned enough money and bought a truck, you'll be able to move in the world freely and run your own business from here. Okay, cool. Good luck. All right, guys, let's uh, jump right on in now and do our first job. This episode is probably going to be a little bit longer uh, than 30 minutes, uh, but we have to we have to at least do our first job in the first episode, right? Okay, so let's go to the job market. Now, uh, we can only take quick jobs right now because we don't own our own truck. This little truck that we're looking at here is not actually ours. That was just kind of like our training truck, I guess. Um, so we can only do quick jobs. Uh, which basically means we use their equipment, we go to them, which the game will just teleport us to them, and then we um, uh, do the job and we get paid however much money. Okay, so this is sorted by price. This is going to go from Las Vegas to Tonopah. Uh, it's 3 hours and 19 minutes. Uh, I think... I'm going to get 4900 bucks. I don't know if I can knock that out in 30 minutes. It's going to be close. Um... Let's take it. Yeah, let's take it. Okay, so that, um, well, actually, wait a minute. Why does this say, th oh, no, that's when it expires. Yeah, I can't do a four-hour trip in 30 minutes. Okay, let's try something else. This one will be three and a half hours, 174 miles. It's to Barstow, California. Let's take this one instead. So we're taking something from a print shop. It looks like to someplace called Eddie's Office Supplies. Right, gotcha. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we'll earn 3600 bucks and we'll make 19 dollars and 13 cents a mile um and we're in a kenworth this is a 13 speed kenworth 455 horse truck nice okay so let's select that now when you do the quick jobs the game just teleports you to the starting location and then teleports you back when you're done but once we get our own truck you know then we will you know go from city to city and we'll start from whatever city we left off in uh all right so let's take a look at our load here so we are in a basic, uh, albeit maybe a little bit longer, uh, semi-trailer truck there. Very good. Um, okay, so I think we're ready to start, and we're in a Kenny here. Nice truck. Let's switch this display. See, fuel distance, speed, cruise control. Yeah, I want that on speed, cr cruise control. And we can set this. You have a new mail. All right, what's my new mail? Brand new Freightliner trucks for sale. Okay, so there's a truck dealer in Oxnard. We are a certified retailer of Freightliner trucks. We offer a wide selection of different configurations. can perform customizations, yada, yada, yada. Basically, once you learn of a truck dealer, normally you learn of that by driving by them and discovering them. Then you can, you know, you have the option of purchasing trucks from them. Uh, we also found the Volvo dealer, too. So when the time comes, I think we... Yeah, so we can actually... Discovered truck days. So we could actually buy from Volvo or from Freightliner uh, when the time comes. But, of course, we don't have enough money to do that yet. Uh, now, something else I'll show you, too, that's kind of cool is um, I can load my own music into the radio. Uh, so I've got uh, a bunch of country music, the same stuff that I use for um, uh, use on Farming Simulator, loaded into the music player. And uh, we can actually play this uh, while we're driving. Uh, but I'll start this up later. Um, let's just get out of town first and make sure, you know, everything's cool. All right, I think we're ready to go. So I think th this said this was a, a 13 speed, right? I think that's what it said. Okay. Um, I want to look at the map too, really quick. So we're gonna we're basically going out uh, that way, and we can we go this way. We have to go around, or we could go out this other direction. Okay. Oh, this sounds quite a bit different than the, than the Freightliner. Okay, I guess we're going out this way. 
and the GPS wants us to turn right. Okay, no one coming from either direction, so we're good to go. Make sure we swing out wide enough so our trailer doesn't... Are we actually hitting the side of the building? We're not hitting anything. Why isn't it going? Oh, the curb, maybe? Oh, we were hitting the side of the fence. Darn it. I didn't even see that there. Dang it. Okay. Well, I'm a noob. Stuff like that's going to happen. Now, it's very important that we follow all traffic laws. We don't want to speed. We don't want to run red lights. We don't want to run into anybody because all that stuff will be deducted from our pay and uh, our experience. Right? So we want to keep... Uh, you know, be a good driver because that helps us get more XP and helps us level up faster and helps us make more money. That's what it all boils down to, right? Is the money. Okay, I think we could probably start off in third gear again with this truck. We'll we'll see. We just have to kind of get used to the truck. Yeah, we might have been better off with second, but third seemed to work okay too. This thing like just stops. <laughs> There's not a lot of coasting involved here. Yeah, let's go to second. Okay, we're gonna turn right up here. Um, well, no, not right here. The next intersection. Okay, come on, light. We got places to go, people to see, deliveries to make. There we go. I'm not going to do a right turn on the red light because I'm not so sure we can do that in Nevada. Or maybe it's a maybe it's a truck thing. Maybe trucks aren't allowed to do that. I don't know. But we got dinged for it last time, so we're not doing it this time. There we go. Let's get over into this lane. I'm not sure what's going to happen, so we'll be in the middle for now. Speed limit is 25 miles an hour, so we need to watch that too. We're going a little too fast. Looks like we're going to turn left up here. Uh, so yeah, let's get over this way. turn up here and the lights green nice let's go speed 
speed limit's 35. And it looks like we're going to turn right up here. Hey. Wait. That guy just turned there. Are we supposed to be able to turn here? I don't think we are. Are we? No, I don't think so. There's a red light down below. Well, well, it doesn't matter now. It's green. <laughs> I don't want to get any more tickets, man. Looks like we're going to get on the interstate or something up here. Yeah. On the 15, man. I-15 North. Man, it's like we, we almost every single light we've hit has been red except for that one. What's up with that? It's like just like real life. coming so we can merge right on oh going too fast really it's 35 through here on the freeway what's up with that okay well I guess it's 35 man I could probably pick up here in a little bit. Oh, looks like we got to flip a UE up here anyway. Huh, okay. I need to pay a little more attention to the to the GPS because sometimes you can go places if you don't pay attention to it, you go places that you don't think you're going, or I don't know, that doesn't make sense, but yeah, something like that. flipping around and going back the other way again. Nobody's coming, so we should be able to just hop right on. This game does a pretty good job of making you feel like you're in a big truck, that's for sure. Five miles an hour. Okay, we'll get up the speed and get our cruise control set. And then we'll 
we'll turn our radio on. In fact, can I do that from here? Uh, yeah, I guess I... I didn't know it was going to take me into this window. There we go. Okay, we got to get over here. This truck is a lot louder than the Freightliner. Come on, man, get moving. Feel the bumps on the side of the shoulder there. Prim discovered, nice. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but each city we discover then allows us to take a job to or from that city once we get our own truck. So it's important to get out and get stuff discovered. On the open road now, baby. So it looks like it's 55 for trucks through here. So we need to slow down a little more. Set our cruise control and adjust it to 55. Okay. Now we're on cruise control. So yeah, this area here, let me turn my music down a little bit definitely looks like the outskirts of Vegas um, very much so in fact I don't know how accurate it is accurate it is but it's um, it looks authentic to me so it's really cool so yeah we have 113 miles to go two hours and 21 minutes uh, but the game does have time compression and distance compression so that's actually not gonna take <laughs> two hours. We'll probably get there in about 10 minutes real time-ish. But once you get out on the road like this, then you're just kind of cruising, enjoying the scenery. I don't want to enjoy the scenery too much, though, because I have to pay attention to what I'm doing. You have to... Uh, there's a lot, a lot more things to think about when you're driving a truck than when you're driving a car. You know, you always got to be aware of your of the size of your your vehicle you know situationally aware spatially aware that kind of thing shifting you got to think about a lot more well i would you know i wouldn't have to if i was an automatic but of course we're not all right we're getting some slow pokes up here i think we're gonna go ahead and try and pass See if we can get out in front of these two trucks because I think, I think they're the ones that are causing the slowing. That guy's hauling some tanks of some sort.
global mills? Is that supposed to be like general mills? Oh my goodness, we're going too fast. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's get back over. Yeah, see, like I said, lots of things to pay attention to, man. We're like going way too fast. Okay, we gotta slow down or we're gonna get ourselves a ticket here. Here I am just blowing by all the trucks thinking, why are they driving so slow? Well, because they're doing the speed limit and you're not. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so we're back down to 55 miles an hour, which is what the truck has to do. 70 for the cars. 64 miles out now. So, I'm thinking probably another five minutes ish or so. Get back in the lane there, man. This is fun though, yeah. I, I'm digging this. A lot of people that play the game and have played it for a while just find it really relaxing, get out on the road and drive, you know? I wouldn't say I'm relaxed at the moment just because I'm so new and I'm trying to figure everything out, but I can definitely see how that could be just kind of a fun, chill experience, especially when you open up the rest of the country and go a lot of different places. I'm interested to see Colorado to see how realistic it, it looks because uh, I think I mentioned to you guys that I, that's where I live. So. Some hot. Uh, no, that's actually a blimp up there. That's cool. Isn't this supposed to be a 13 speed? Seems like uh, I haven't even really been able to get past 11. 11th gear. Maybe it's just a really heavy load. So yeah, if we uh, if I stick with the game, might invest in some head tracking because I can see where that really would come in handy with this game. Or, I don't know, maybe I'll try and tweak with that software I, I tried out. Maybe I can make it work better with some adjustments, but... I mean, it did work, but it if I got, you know, looked too far to one side or the other, then it would start shaking and get all messed up. Barstow! Nice. and Flagstaff. Truck's getting off there. Should have downshifted sooner. Looks like we're getting off here. We're do a full stop. Save the stop sign. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I think we're okay. 
Barstow discovered. Nice. Oh, we were supposed to turn here. Whoops. Um. Okay. Anybody coming? <laughs> oh, yeah, we got cars behind us. Um, can it reroute me? All right, I think we... I thought that's where I was going. I don't think I can make that turn. Let's go into this yard and hopefully we can find a place to turn around. That was a mistake. Don't want to go back that way. Hi guys, don't mind me, just coming through here. Yikes! Okay, we're good. These guys are like, what's that idiot doing? <laughs> Learn how to drive, noob. That's what they're thinking. Well, we are kind of learning how to drive here. Okay, who's gonna go? I guess they're gonna go. Okay. Yeah, you guys go first. Okay, we're just about to our destination. Let's hope and pray we don't have a gnarly backup job to do. Hamburgers. Looks like we're going in here. Okay. Oh, that looks like fun. 90 XP for that one, though. Oh, this is not going to be easy. Holy cow. So that means we're going to have to pull into here and then back it around that way. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> there's cars in the way and everything. I don't think there's... N yeah, there's no way we can go this way. Wow, that's going to be hard, man. Oh, boy. All right. Dang. Dang, bro. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> let's give it a try. Oh, man. So, let's see. Let me. Okay, let's look outside for a second. What we're going to have to do... Oh, my goodness, that's going to be tough. can't uh, move beyond there, right? Okay, so the only view I, I have. Kind of makes sense, though, because in real life I wouldn't really be able to see beyond that building unless I walked over there. I guess there's... A, I'm, am I able to get out and walk? I think I am. I just don't know what the button is for that. Let's actually look at that for a second. I'd like to just go over there and look. And I need to concentrate, too, so let's turn that off. Uh, okay, so how do we get out of the vehicle? Let's go to controls. No, not controls. We want to go to um, keys and buttons. That's all driving the truck stuff.
HUD controls, camera controls, top down camera, lean out, yeah. Rotate camera and mouse control. Zoom interior camera, look left. Okay, steering base, nope. Okay, these are, uh, okay, this is how we walk, but how do we get actually out of the truck? Activate menu. Quick save, audio player, garage manager, reset head. I don't know. I don't see how I actually get out of the truck to walk around. Hmm. Okay, well, then let's think about this. We're going to need to pull the truck. How long is this trailer? Yeah. We might be able to pull right up next to that white or gray car to the right of it and then start swinging the trailer around the building. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> this is not going to be easy. stop there let's put the parking brake on for a second all right i want to look around again now boy let's go let's go forward just a little bit more here until we hit the curb okay all right let's look again now oh stop Okay, so let's get into reverse. Okay, I gotta look outside again. No, we're going the wrong way. Darn it. Okay. Let's go forward again. Hit the light post. Okay. Yeah, we need to. No, we need to go this way. No, this way. <laughs> Crap. We're not going to clip that car there, are we? Where in the hell's the trailer at? I don't even know what the heck I'm doing, man. Okay. Yeah, we definitely need to turn that way, but... Wow, this is hard. Okay, let's go back this way again. In reverse. The wheel's really fighting me here. Crank that sucker over this way. Okay, now, let it start coming back. Alright, how are things looking... You know, having these cars here just is making this, is compounding the difficulty of this, like, significantly. Okay, now, let's pull the truck in here. Okay. Put her in reverse. Hope I don't clip that car there. Oh, no, we're fine. Okay. Well, we're over a little further than we were before. Still not far enough, though, I don't think. Okay, stop there. I think what we sh Man, if only that stupid Cadillac wasn't there. Can I get on the other side of that guy? 
Uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> From here, it looks like I'm going to run right into him. Uh, because I am. <laughs> Crap. Okay. Um, I think we're going to have to... Um, just don't think I can get the back end of the trailer around that way. So, let's try a different plan of action here. We're going to kind of do the same thing we did before, but we're going to see if we can cut it over even further. Okay, so we're on the curb. That's fine. Turning it this way. Just having a heck of a time getting that trailer around, pointing in the right direction. I know a pro truck driver could just do this probably in one shot, but guess what? I'm not a pro truck driver. You guys are going, oh, you don't say. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, oops, go back to this view. Okay, back up. There we go. Okay, that's a little better. I can at least kind of see what's going on here. Okay, let's check this side, make sure we're not going to clip these cars. I think we're okay for the moment. This gray minivan thing I'm going to do right there is, might be a problem, but let's just keep backing up here. Gray minivan thing of thing of a doodle. Am I gonna hit you? Oh yeah, kind of maybe. Okay, let's see if we can just back straight here, just to clear this guy. Okay, okay, okay. Now we can start turning it again. That guy's going, hey, dude, you're going to run into me. You know what, though? This isn't bad. This isn't bad. Because now we can pull into here to straighten it up. This wouldn't have been so bad if those doggone cars hadn't been there, but they are there. So that's what we got to deal with, right? Okay, let's just get right to here. Let's take a look. All right, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad. Uh, we can go forward just a little bit more. Okay, that's good enough. Okay. Put it in reverse. Uh, no, we want to be turning the wheel to the left. Okay. I'm not really seeing anything in that mirror there that's helping me. Okay, I can see the back end of the trailer though, so that's good. Now, let's start cutting to the right so I can see the back end on this side. There we go, okay. Okay, this isn't bad. We want to kind of just bring it almost here let me look at this view here all right all right so here's what we're gonna do um uh, we're gonna turn this way just a smidge watch that mirror because we got to clear the corner of this building 
but without running into it with the truck. Okay, good. We got around the corner. Oh, sorry, shopping cart. Okay, that mirror's pretty much useless to me. So let's just very slowly keep backing up till I can kind of see around the corner here. Wow, we gotta <laughs> we gotta put it in there. Oh man, there's like no room for me to pull straight forward on that side to get it in there. Well, actually, you know what? We hmm. if I went all the way back on the other side of that guy, could I pull up into that corner? Uh, man, no, I don't think we're gonna be able to pull that off. All right, let's do this. Okay, we're gonna have to go back this way. This is unbelievably difficult. All right, now, we're in reverse. How are we looking on this side? I think we're doing pretty good on that side. Yeah. All right. We're getting it. We're up on the curb now. Oh, have we cleared that building or not? <laughs> I can't tell. Um. Yeah, I think we're we gotta get we're gonna have to come back this way a little bit okay reverse okay what's going on over here now see I'm I'm pretty doggone close um we're gonna need to straighten out those wheels just a little bit so I don't scrape the fender on the truck. Go back a little more. And now, now we gotta start straightening it out this way. Have I cleared the fence? Pretty much, okay. Okay. Now we gotta turn it hard to the left. Like really hard, oh! <laughs> all right, can we go forward at all? A little bit. That's about all the further forward we can go. Okay. Wow. Okay, now. Hard to the left. Eee. I can't see anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna scrape the building. Oh, okay, we better pull forward again. Right to there, okay. Reverse. Hard to the left. Problem is, is I can't see now. Alright, let's take external view. Man, we are we got we're getting close, you guys. We are really getting close. Um Okay. Let's go back a little very, very slowly. We gotta get that tail end of this trailer away from that wall. so close okay so here's what we're gonna do um okay now let's start straightening it out this way a bit i gotta see though because i can't see what the heck's going on oh shoot we're up against the wall okay so pull out this way a little bit and then start to straighten it out like this 
Okay, stop. Reverse. I gotta look. Can't see what's going on. We're up against the frickin' wall again. Got hard this way. Okay, now straighten out the wheels. So close. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, that's as close as we've gotten so far. See now, each time we do this, we're just getting it a little straighter. I want it to go out that way a little bit, but not too much. Because then we'll swing in. Yeah, no point in looking back that way. I gotta use my mirror because I can't see anything otherwise. All right, let's do external view. <laughs> Look how close we are to the wall, man. Oh, we got it! We got it! I mean, it's not pretty, but we got it. Here, quick, <laughs> turn it in. Oh, man, that was hard. Oh, Lord Almighty, that was hard. <coughs> well, we got an excellent rating. Uh, we earned, we earned $3,679 and got 407 XP. Oh, man, that was hard. Wow. Okay. Um, So we now can spend our first skill point, and we're going to put that into long-distance driving because the further we can go, the more money we can make. And, you know, we'll work on some of these other things later on. I don't remember if I went over these with you guys or not, but they're pretty self-explanatory. Hazardous cargo, high-value cargo, fragile cargo, just-in-time delivery, which is, you know, a time crunch thing, and then, you know, better fuel uh, economy. And all that stuff, of course, uh, means more money for us. Okay, so let's apply the long-distance thing there. And it looks like we have an, a mail here, so need money, we can help. Okay, so this is basically the bank telling us that uh, we can borrow up to $130,000 which we're probably going to do because we really need to get our own truck to really start making the money. Um, what was the other thing? Uh, oh, okay. So, yeah, there's a freight liner dealer in Oxnard, uh, too. So we'll discover truck dealers as we go along, and uh, and we can. that's where we buy the trucks from. So it told us about the freight liner because, you know, that we we told the game that was our favorite truck when we started it. So that's why we know about that. But we'll we'll discover other ones, too, um, you know, as we progress. Oh, boy, that was stressful. <laughs> man, oh, man. Uh, y if you guys have not tried this game or even real truck driving, um, that is not as easy as it looks. It really isn't. It's 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 a challenge. Um, so, yeah, but fun. Uh, and, you know, we'll, we can only get better, right, as we go along. So uh, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Uh, let me know, guys, in the comments if you like this and if you want to see more American Truck Simulator uh, on the channel here. And uh, I, I'm still, like I said, trying to decide myself, too, if I if I want to stick with this. But, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll see how things go. I'll definitely do another episode uh, or two or three, and we'll go from there. So, yeah, I guess that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.